What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to iOS 6 beta. Now this is the developer's preview and you will need to pay for this. It's very cheap. You can find it for $10 which equates to around about £6 here in the UK. And uh, I used a site called iosbetas.com which is run by an old YouTuber. Uh, his, his channel's long gone by now but he's uh, obviously he processed it in less than a day but he was asleep and he's having trouble with the orders but it should be all right now and most of the time he does it instantly. So that is called iosbetas.com and what you're going to need to do is you need to gonna get your UDID number from your device that you want to upgrade to iOS 5.1.1. So as you can see here if I go onto my iTunes and then what you're going to do is you're going to click your serial number. I'm going to black out all my serial number and stuff like that. But what you're going to, that's all you need to do. You need to go onto the iTunes, connect your device, and you will see, uh, for example, mine's Tom's iPhone. And uh, I'm going to connect, click on my serial number of my iPhone, and you'll see the UDID. And then you can go into edit up at the top and copy identifier UDID in brackets. So that will copy the number and then you can paste it in on iosbetas.com and that will all work absolutely fine. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to want to do is to download your firmware, the firmware which uh, your device needs, the iOS 6 beta firmware. And I'll have a link in the description to a website which lists all of the firmwares, which is where I downloaded it from, I torrented it. Um, perfectly legal, torrent's not a bad, it's just quicker download. So you can torrent it or download it manually via the internet. Otherwise it will work, uh, either way it will work. So that's all fine. And then what you're gonna want to do is you want to go, um, gotta make sure your device is connected up to your computer. And what you're gonna do is you're going to press Alt or if you're on a Mac, or I believe it's Shift on a PC, and you're gonna press Alt, hold Alt, and click Restore. Now what that does is it lets you kind of view your um, uh, file system to restore from your IPSW, which is the software that you will have downloaded. So uh, in my instance, I would have downloaded the iPad IPSW for my iPad 3, which is running iOS 6 currently, and that's all fine. After you've done that, you just let it run. It will go through it completely, uh, all do it all automatically, and that's it, you're done, you're on iOS 6. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, also subscribe with that big button in front of you right now, and I'll catch you in the next video.